Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Here's good. We sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one.
Just like last time. Come on. I see. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. You need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Watch out. Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. 
You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> 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 Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. Thank you for doing this, both of you. 
You have already done so much. Uh, excuse me. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <laughs> Chief. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. 
Chief Reigns, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Treaty. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. All if right. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. You son of a bitch! Don't be dumb! Get, get off me! Get Come on!
Let's go. Captain Monroe, you're on me. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Um... I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend.
you worry about me? There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. 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 You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. He can get a lick on us for All these damn fauners coming through. Have to expect it. Let's go. Quiet. Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building, maybe. Get him. 
do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof. Howdy, officer. Gallows, gallows, which way was he? Justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, Justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your <laughs> sentence, <laughs> Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <laughs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Morgan! You hear us? Take a shot on these old riscos! How you get on, Arthur? 
So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. Yeah. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. What? It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I think I see some movement in the distance. Over here, Arthur. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. 
Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now... Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fire first, soldier! She's going to strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Sending riders from the fort, we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Yes, ma'am. 
around here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right. Let's carry on by foot and try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see if we can lose them down here. This was your plan? Shit. I guess ah. not. Get behind something, Arthur. Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Oh. Um, ah!
is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. <laughs> 